so hi everyone similar to open ai's 12 days of ai that happened in december deep seek has now started an open source week starting from today and their first release has came out that is deep seek flash ml a now this is not your usual llm coming out or some data set release but this is a kernel release so this is some hardcore tech stuff that has been released by deep seek and looks great so i will be telling you what does flash mla do how it is useful for you also and how is it related to ai all these things we will be covering in this particular video so giving you a brief about what is flash mla it is a highly optimized kernel for hopper gpus that is helps you to make your llm inferencing faster if talking in terms of ai so before we jump on to the details of flash mla there are a few things that you should be knowing so first of all is what is a kernel so you must be knowing gpu right so on gpu kernels are small programs that runs on gpu to perform a specific task like matrix multiplication or attention computation these are the backbones of it right so both so the kernel is a program that runs on the gpu now what is hopper gpu hopper gpu is nvidia's latest gpu architecture so it's one of the best right now and it features advanced tensor cores high memory bandwidth etc we have already covered the different specification of gpu in the previous video you can check that out now how does kernel play a role in ai i think uh, for the audiences which are new to gpu programming as already mentioned kernel accelerate ai tasks by matrix op operations attention mechanism memory management etc enabling faster training and inferencing so they are related to uh, latency part of the llm inferencing or training also so now coming to flash mla what is it so as already mentioned highly optimized decoding kernel designed specially for hopper gpus like nvidia h100 series so you must be hearing that most of the llms that get uh, trained or fine tuned uses h100 series so i think now you might have got the sense of why deep seek flash mla is a very important release right now it is tailored for variable length sequence serving which is a common requirement in nlp so basically variable length sequence serving when you're generating a text or when you're inputting you are not giving a defined length of the sentence right sometimes you're inputting an entire sentence sometimes you're inputting just two words similarly when talking about the output also at times you're asking for a paragraph at times you're asking just for the word so these are called as variable length sequence serving flash ml is built to maximize performance by efficiently handling memory and computation now talking about its key features as you can see optimized for hopper gpus as already mentioned so it is more towards the high end gpus so it can be used with them it supports uh, it is optimized for variable length sequence support as already mentioned it uses page kv cache so kv cache uh, just giving you a brief you might be remembering attention mechanism right so in attention mechanism we have three matrices k q v if you remember key value and query so the kv here represents those two matrices hence enabling faster inferencing talking about performance it pro it achieves up to 3000 gb per second memory bandwidth with 580 tflops this is quite good and ease of use flash ml provides a simple python api for easy integration so they have given a code also i'll just show you that as well now how flash ml is useful it's straightforward for llms you might be understanding now that it will be helping M uh, llms for reducing latency and improve throughput real time applications as you make your uh, gpu faster the computation is faster now real time applications will take an impact and they will also improve like for example chatbots or voice services the lag would be smaller now batch processing flash ml efficiently handles multiple sequences simultaneously and research and development as it has made all the research stuff faster your r and d would be faster now now before we wrap it up we need to understand the difference between flash ml and flash attention So you might be hearing flash attention a lot. Also, I have covered that as well in one of the previous videos. So first of all, talking about the purpose, these are little two different things. So don't get a swayed that they are using flash, hence they are same. No, they are not. Flash attention is optimized for computing attention mechanism only, the attention core that we score, that we calculate within the transformer, and it's focused on fixed length sequences. While flash MLA is designed for variable length sequence decoding. so these are two different thing flash attention is more towards uh, computing the flash attention score while flash ml is designed for variable length the purpose is different talking about memory management flash attention is using standard memory optimization the usual ones while in case of flash ml they have introduced a new concept called as paged kv cache with a block size of 64 talking about performance 
high performance for attention computation but not for decoding task right uh, this is for flash attention and then talking about the use cases uh, flash attention is ideal for training and inferencing in models flash ml is tailored for real time decoding so uh, try to understand the difference between the two flash attention would be great for it um, the attention part of the transformer while flash mla is tailored for real time decoding now how to use uh, deep seeks flash mla they have released a github repo as well let me show you that too so there is not much in the repo as you can see just the code uh, nothing much has been explained also but the codes are given here so you can use it directly you just need to pip install the library and then start using flash mla here so with this we will wrap this up i hope this week comes out fruitful and deep seek releases some crazy stuff flash ml looks to be very high end tech stuff but i think still very very useful thank you so much